Welcome if you guess. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the moment using shadow healing, uh, cosmic reading cards, and Osho Zen Tarot. If you guess. Let's get into it. Oh, better get the right deck, am I? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Three cards for a few kiss, please. Three cards for a few kiss. One, two, three. Okay. Interesting. Okay. First card here, we have irritation. There comes a time when standing up and being counted may not necessarily resolve the issue, but it sure feels good when you're finally heard. True that. Okay, next card is Astonished. It's your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience with it with wonder and as an opportunity, opportunity for a different future. Distracted. In your effort to be hyper-vigilant, the most important thing of all just slipped straight past you, whilst you were distracted by other less significant things. Very interesting. Okay, so let's have a look further into this, if you kiss. Irritation. Let's start with this. There comes a time when standing up and being counted may not necessarily resolve the issue but it sure feels good when you're finally heard yeah and you know what i really feel like it's um th that is actually about feeling like you're worth being heard feeling like you're um worthy of being heard i should say sorry and you know that you're worth standing up for because we need to stand up for ourselves right um because sometimes it's the case that if we don't, who's going to? You know, we teach people how to treat us, yeah? So how are you teaching people how to treat you? What boundaries are you setting in order for people to know where they stand with you? Do you even know what those boundaries are? Is this something that you need to consider and think about? Right? So, yeah, we have emotions here. Your emotions are a great guidance system for you to know, especially if you're feeling irritation, right? There's a, 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 um, a feeling that's going to indicate to you that something's out of alignment. So looking at that, if you can see what it is that's irritating you, why it's irritating you, where it stems from, and what it is that you need to do to stand up and be heard. Two cards for emotions. And this really, you know, this this speaking up for yourself. Um, this is saying, you know, how I feel is valid. And I deserve to be heard. Right? So, one more card. There we go. One's fallen on the floor. Of course. So use your way here. Won't be a mo. Okay, so we have here the lovers and success. Okay, so... The thing is that I suppose if this is about a relationship for you, and that could be any kind of relationship, whether it's a you know friendship, family ship, work relationship, whatever. Um, when we speak up and and say how we're feeling about something, if it's delivered in a calm and um, a, a calm manner that's not attacking anyone else, okay, when we're not projecting our, our emotions onto other people and taking full responsibility, right? Um, so doing it in a healthy way, when we're doing that, um, we will be successful, okay? Um, it's up to other people how they receive that, and that depends on where they are placed in their lives um, as to how they will interpret that, okay? For some of you, this is actually about you looking within yourself, okay, to see what needs to be resolved here, to see what emotions are may, excuse me, may be feeling a little bit out of control and um, and really delving deep to look at what it is that you can begin releasing. Okay, the next card here we have is unconditional love. 
really interesting because um, unconditional love, I think, is something that first and foremost we need to have for ourselves. So two cards for unconditional love for a few of us, please. You know, I don't know. I kind of feel like with unconditional love, you ask any parent, do they unconditionally love their children? And they will say yes. But then they put restrictions on them. They, they um, punish them when they're not doing what they're expected to do by the parents. Um, you know, and, and I'm not talking about, you know, kids going out and, you know, say like, I don't know, for example, you know, stealing or beating someone up or anything like that. I'm talking about a child expressing themselves in a way like if they're frustrated right or they're irritated and they express that in a way that um, a parent finds inappropriate generally that child will be scolded for that okay now this sends a message to the child that they are loved conditionally they are loved only when they behave in a particular way so there is no way that I have never met a parent who loves their children unconditionally So, given that, okay, this is really, um, <clears throat> yeah, see, this is this is really kind of locking that child out to say when you do what you're told and behave the way um, we deem that is acceptable, you'll be allowed back in. But that damages the child. So, given that. How many times have you locked yourself away or been locked away yourself, especially as you were growing up, because you weren't behaving the way you were expected to? So, you know, you could have been your absolute authentic self. So how many times, if you kiss, were you scolded for simply being you? This forms us into somebody we're not, right? So it is really about delving deep and finding those things and letting those go. Letting those restrictions go, right? Turning around and walking another path and not wondering, am I loved yet? Have I done the right thing yet? Is it okay now? Are you going to accept me now? Loving yourself unconditionally, regardless of anything else. Loving yourself for simply being. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, next card here. Gosh, I don't want to know why my voice is going croaky. <clears throat> Maybe this is, because I can't even clear it. Maybe this is this thing about needing to stand up and be heard, right? Maybe this is you not feeling heard. Always clanging at the gate. Is someone listening? Hello. I'm speaking here. Time to acknowledge yourself. Time to acknowledge this inner child who is screaming at you for attention, who is screaming at you for love. That inner part of you, or even the inner adult, that we keep ignoring. Okay, astonished. Right, let's get into this. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Astonished. Two cards for Astonished, please, for a few kiss. It is your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience with wonder as an opportunity for a different future. Exactly. Do you want to walk back through the gate and, and do what's already done? Or do you want to turn around and walk a different path and go and explore, right? Explore in the way you want to explore. Explore in the way that it exists acceptable for you where no one's going to criticize you or condemn you or um, control you right how do you want to walk this part of your journey now okay we have intuition here right so using your intuition your internal guidance system to lead the way not this because this here may have been the way that you've been working from in the past but it's time to do things differently here. Yeah. So two cards for intuition. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it. Adventure. Yeah, go on an adventure, right? Because um, the time here is done. It's finished. Okay, it's like the, the fruit tree here. 
It's done, it's served its purpose. It's done what it's needed to do. The fruit has grown and now it's falling from the tree. There's not much more that this tree can produce this season. Okay, so it's time to go on another adventure. Here's the child walking off, turning around and going, oh, look what's here. Let's go and explore because this looks like a magical, wonderful world. And it sure is, right? Go plant some new trees here, Fugus. Grow a new orchard and it can be whatever you want it to be, right? Because this child here is following its intuition. It's an innate sense that it was born with. I love this. I really, really love this for you. Cosmic connection. Cosmic connection. See, it's like this walking into this cosmic connection here, right? And I really love this. So this is really taking the time to make that connection, right? However that be, through meditation, yoga, um, qigong, um, any other form that appeals to you. Try out different modalities so you can work out what um, you're drawn to and what really does get you connected, okay? You may have already found it. So it could be a matter of um, of actually making sure that that's part of your daily routine, just like cleaning your teeth and, you know, whatever it is that you do is on a daily. Okay, so Cosmic Connection, two cards for a few fists for Cosmic Connection, please. And I feel like here, this will bring everything into alignment and um, it's going to help you to listen to or, or at least feel this intuition, okay, but... Um, more than that, if you guess, it's going to help you to start living from your heart space. And this is really something we should all be focusing on now. Um, because we are in an age on this planet where um, there's really... Uh, it's the best place to live from, put it that way. In my experience, anyhow. Okay? Um, so, Cosmic Connection... Yeah, there we go. Rebirth the dream. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> Let this dream come alive. Right? There's a rebirth going on. And you had an idea of a dream once upon a time. And maybe it didn't come to fruition. Okay? But whatever has completed here, whatever cycle has been completed here, now is the time to look at those things that were a dream once upon a time. You may not even remember what they are, but connecting in with the cosmos is going to help bring this down to you to say this is what you're meant to be doing. This is why you came here. This is, this is the path to go down, right? To go on this adventure here, yeah? Because it's there for the taking. Um, and then we go into distracted here, right? So, this is so interesting. It's so funny because when these cards first came out, I was like, kind of doesn't make sense to me. I don't see how it's all linking up, but now it actually is. So, yeah. The other thing I want to say is go and have a listen to the Scorpio video as well because that was kind of like, as the video went on, it got more and more profound in the energy in it. It was kind of like it built. And so you might get something out of that video too. Okay, so distracted. Two cards for distracted for a focus, please. It didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to. If it's meant to, it will. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have integrity here. So let's just have a read of distracted first. In your effort to be hypervigilant, the most important thing of all just slips straight past you whilst you were distracted by other less significant things. Yeah, see, while you were looking through this gate here, there was this portal of adventure that opened up that you may not see unless you turn around and have a really good look. Okay, unless you make this connection and tap in and follow your intuition, you may miss the adventure, okay? So be really mindful of that, right? Um, yeah, two cards for integrity, please. And again, this is coming into this heart space, right, of... Um, coming into this heart space to let this lead the way, okay? Um, 
yeah, see, this is focusing on the things that haven't worked out um, and still being in that moment, okay? Um, and this is causing you to miss out on participating in, in a lot of aspects of your life, okay? It's really important. I know that there are some things that can happen that are so absolutely astonishing, right, that can pull the rug from under our feet, um, that it can be a bit hard to get back on track, and it's kind of like we're like, doing, 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 waiting to, you know, come back into focus and get aligned and into balance, right? Um, and I feel as though, um, I feel as though, if you guess that it's time now, you to get back on that track to kind of like force yourself every time this thing comes into your head you have the power to go no out you're not welcome here okay it's like a fly in the house or a, um, a mosquito in your room at night you're gonna get it to exit out the door right you're gonna get it to leave you're not gonna welcome it in and say yeah all the mosquitoes come in while I sleep tonight you know, you're actually going to get them to leave. So this is the same as what we can do with our thoughts. It's just been um, onto them, I suppose, and not letting them control us, coming down into this heart space and letting that lead the way. Okay, we have time out here. Um, and, yeah, see, this is about getting grounded. This is about you putting all the pieces back together of your life and growing what it is that you want to grow, okay? Because um, whatever happened here, if you guess, um, may have blown this tree to smithereens, but you can grow it. You can grow the orchard with whatever you want. You can even mix it up with different trees. It doesn't have to all be the same tree, okay? So it's up to you to create that as colourful as you like it because there's no one else controlling that but you, so go for it, I say, go for it, okay, so time out, two more for time out, please, and I feel like that time out has been had, and now it's time to move forward, okay, so what have we got here, yeah, look at this, yeah, yeah, um, this is just really um, reiterating what I've already said, right, that alone time of, um, of going within and taking the time to, um, you know, this this could be, you know, representative of this time out that has been taken here, yeah. Um, and the thing is that this time out here has allowed you to tap in to the light that shines within. And now it's time here, if you guess, for that light to glow. It's kind of like, you know what I'm being shown? I'm being shown a really big light bulb with a cover over it. And it's kind of like it's time for the reveal. And it's sort of like having a reveal party. I guess what? This is who I am now. I'm now this person, you know? This is what I'm planting for myself. This is my life now. This is the orchard that I want to grow. This is what I want. This is the foundation I want to build for myself. And this is what I want to plant for my future so that I am forever um, being served by nature, which is there to sustain me and my life. So that this doesn't happen. You know, I mean, things can happen, right? But this is about you building a solid foundation because the thunderbolt only ever causes things to collapse and burn to ashes because they were never solid to begin with, okay? So this is about you creating a life for yourself which is solid and sure so that you don't have any doubt, okay? And ultimately, and most importantly, if you kiss, this is for you. First and foremost, okay, so never ever forget who the most important person is in your world. It is you, okay? Always hold on to that because you are worthy of that and you are worthy of believing in yourself. I'm going to leave that with you if you kiss. Please take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.